Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. W what's the matter, Miss Von Karma? I... I... I object! For objection's sake! Mr. Phoenix Wright, you... Theory, you believe it? You really plan to say that this joke of an accident actually happened? Of course I do! It's the truth. The lion sneezed due to the pepper, and that's when Bat lost consciousness. Acro nearly lost his brother due to this accident, or this joke as you put it. This is why you don't joke so much. Which is why he tried to get his revenge against Regina. You foolish idiot! Hmm... So it's a joke of an accident to you, huh? Once again, I'm impressed by your imagination, Mr. Wright. To think that there's someone who treats this accident with the respect it deserves. Are you telling me that what I said was... true? Akro? You don't mean... You can't mean! Witness! Uh, are you confirming the defense's claim? Mr. Wright? Unfortunately, your imagination is not enough to find me guilty of murder. I mean, that's true. What do you mean by that? The pepper, the scarf, the lion... I see where you're going, but it's a bit hard to swallow. Not to mention the fact that there's an even bigger problem with your theory. Listen, the circus is hard to swallow, mister. Mm-hmm. Your life is crazy. <laughs> what would that problem be? The same problem it's always been. Evidence. If I dropped Max's bust on top of the ringmaster... Where is the evidence that proves that claim? Uh... Hmm... You mean the conclusive evidence? The biggest problem is the murder weapon, or the lack thereof to be more precise. Murder weapon. The bust that the defense claims was used. If that were to be found in Akro's room, and if that was covered with the victim's blood, that would be awfully conclusive in my eyes. Yes, it would be. The bust is gone, which makes me think... The bust. But it rocketed it up. It he could have pulled, pulled, pulled it back up into his room. Nick, you've got to do something. This is the last step. If I get this one right, the case is won. See how things work out. Request to search Akro's room. Um. If we just see how things work out, they're like, well, I guess we don't have conclusive evidence. <laughs> <laughs> so. It might be worthwhile to search Akro's room, but. Why are you going to search his room? It looks like you finally figured things out, didn't you? Now you know the true meaning of Von Karma Total Justice. <laughs> the defense requests to search the room of the witness Ken Dean Lane. <laughs> when is it now? It looks like you still haven't figured things out, have you? By now you must know the meaning of the Von Karma Total Justice. Y you mean... A Von Karma never leaves anything to chance. We already searched Akro's room yesterday. That would explain what? why she was there- What did oh you find? Gosh. There's no reason to even say it. If we found what you think we found in that room, Akro would not be here as a witness. But to put a point on it, Max's bust was not in the room. The murder weapon is still unaccounted for. You see, Mr. Wright? The bust wasn't in my room. Furthermore, Detective Dick Gumshoe executed the search by complete surprise. And we took Akro directly to the prosecutor's office after that. In end of story. J just wait a second! Something's funny about all this! What if the monkey took it? He was like, hey. It would be back in his room then. No, but what if he was like, hey, monkey, monkey, go, go <laughs> take this away! Ah, ah, ah. Okay, you, you know. really think he has the monkey trained? The monkey can't be trained. Well, maybe he, like, threw it out of the room. They would have found it! <laughs> maybe he threw it into Moe's room, and that's how there was the crack Then in we would have found it in Moe's room. No, we wouldn't have. Yes, we would have! It would have been right there! The bust is enormous. <laughs> is it enormous? Okay. Yes, it's, it's life-size, so it's literally as big as Max's face. Oh, I thought it was just his head. I thought it was, like, chest... Head, it is! Bust. That's still oh. a huge bust! Yeah, that's a decent sized bust. 
Looks like the coup de gras in this case was ever so sweet. Wow! All right, well, you're probably guilty. But, but, what about the scarf? What about the note? What about them? Mr. Wright, no offense, but the important evidence here is... is about the death of the Ringmaster. I think you should remember that. Arg! Do something, Nick! Don't let this case slip away! The bust, where is it now? Hmm, where's the bust right now? You're Phoenix Wright! You know where that bust is! I'm sure you do! There's not even a single clue. How am I supposed to know where the bust is? Or is it just me like, pick a room, search it, hope for the best? It seems as if this case is coming to a close. Gumshoe's gonna run in and find it. The defense's counter-arguments look to have fallen short. Thank you for your support. Hack! Now if you'll please excuse me, Mr. Wright. I think that brings to an end the cross-examination of this witness. Was I right? <laughs> well, someone said hold it. Where is Max's bus? The defense needs time to prepare for to present its flight. Lace? Yes? I mean case. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous and I just bit my tongue. Huh? What? We need time to do what? Ow! <laughs> Why are you the most surprised person here? She's on your... And she's your aide, isn't she? D do you really have a, a case to present, Mr. Wright? What? what? Is he talking to me? The, case, the rest is up to you, Nick. Look! Uh, hey, wait, you can't be serious. Acrobats always have their life on the lines, don't they? That's how Acro's lived his life up until now. Now it's time for us to walk across our own tightrope! If we don't, we're certain to lose. Very well, the defense may proceed. He doesn't have a clue, and I don't think he'll be finding one anytime soon. Walking the tightrope of logic, there's no room for a false step. Sink or swim, the only way through is forward. The murder weapon. Where is Max's bust now? Somewhere in the lodging house, somewhere in the big top, somewhere in this courtroom. I think it would be stupid if he brought the bust to the courtroom. <laughs> but... So where do you actually think the bust is? Um, he couldn't take it to the big top. He hasn't moved anywhere. He's been cooped up. And then he went to... That's also a sizable penalty. That is kind of... I think that where the bust is, is not where any of those places are. I think it's at the hospital with his brother. Oh. I think. How would he get it there, though? He went and visited. I think How would he do that? Hey, I'm pretty busy, is that a bloody bust you have? Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's a game, okay? I think that's the main thing is like, he could he could have wrapped it up or something and been like, hey, I have a present for my brother, I want to visit my brother right now. And then, and his brother's in a coma, so he's not freaking out, and so he's just like, okay, put this here, go back. I mean, he was gone for a whole day. He could have <laughs> hidden that thing anywhere. Interesting. That was my thought, but that's none of these places, so maybe it's not that. <laughs> um, you don't think that Von Karma actually found it and it's just not presenting it? Well, that's also possible. You better leave Von Karma or Case alone. Okay. I bet it's the big top. There's no doubt in my mind. The bust is somewhere around the lodging house. You don't say. You better not say. In fact, allow me to be even more specific as to its location. You can find it in Moe's room and Acro's room in the closet oh, near the Oh, I want to say Moe's room. There's like 10 million broken things in there. Indeed, it is in Moe's room. That clown? You don't mean... Why would the bust be in Moe's room? It's simple. I couldn't think of any other room as it could be in. Ow! Refrain from making yourself look stupid. Nick! What about where Ben and Trilo were standing? Hmm. Maybe she's onto something there. Trilo, Trilo, you know, it's Trilo. same thing. We searched that room inside out, and there was absolutely no sign of a bust. Oh, what a big blow. But, but let me try again. Walking the tightrope of watching. <laughs> Try Without a doubt, the bust is in Acro's room. Ow! Let me finish! Just let me finish! Ow! I already told you that we searched his room from top to bottom. Prepare to taste your own tears, Mr. Phoenix Wright. The court orders Mr. Phoenix Wright to get a grip on himself immediately. I'll, uh, go back and think things over. <laughs> <laughs> it's buried in the plaza. 
n near the scene of the crime and no one noticed it? How could you possibly think that? Haven't you ever heard the old saying, it was hiding right under your nose? That about sums it up! Why should we think that shouldn't happen? <laughs> the bird even agrees. Yes, you should. <laughs> so you think it's in the big top? If it's in the courtroom, I'm going to laugh my head off. <laughs> it must be somewhere in the very big top! Karma just, just has it, it like behind her, like, hey, we'll find this. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the big top? Mr. Wright, where exactly in the big top would we find it? In the ringmaster's room, in the cafeteria, on the circus stage. I want to say cafeteria just to be like, oh, it's right back where it belongs! <laughs> to be specific, I believe it is in the ringmaster's room. Once again, you are so predictable, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Enough of your bluffing. The ringmaster's room was thoroughly searched. There was no bust found. There's absolutely no way I'm wrong. I'd even stake my life on it. Oh, there's no need to be staking wives on things. Oh! And you get one, too. Ow! Nick, you've got to think things over again. You're right. If I think things through, I should figure it all out. Of course, it is obviously in the cafeteria. The cafeteria? Why would it be there? That's easy enough. It's the messiest place in the entire circus! Ow! Spare us the jokes. That reminds me. Our office is just as messy as that cafeteria! I wouldn't go that far. It's not that messy. We went through over that cafeteria with a fine-toothed comb and found no sign of the bust. Ah! Gotta rethink things. We never went on the it is on stage. the circus's stage. W what is it doing there? Haven't you ever heard of this saying? You keep your treasure inside your castle? It's kind of like that! <laughs> Phoenix Wright is so dumb when he's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's so he hilarious. He likes smart bananas! Looks like it's time to give him some more fun. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> it actually is in the corner. Okay. I wondered. It's obvious the bust is inside this very courtroom. It's uh, uh, obvious? Allow me to pinpoint the location of the bust once for all. The judge's bench, the prosecutor bench, the witness's chair. I will laugh if it's in the witness chair, but I think it's the prosecutor's bench. Oh, it's not. It's, um, um, wh wh what? Why did you stop talking all of a sudden? Well, I'm just not really sure if I should say anything or not because the bust is under the prosecutor's bench! No, you don't mean that. Miss Von Karma! Ow! 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 Don't think you're getting off! <laughs> <laughs> Nick! Get up, Nick! Proceed, your honor. I will, when Mr. Wright opens his eyes. <laughs> Is that an instant game over? No. Nick, are you okay? Who is this girl? Oh no. This is no time for me to be losing my memory! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is probably the best- one of the best parts of the case here. Okay. It's, um, um... What?! Why did you stop talking all of a sudden? <laughs> well, I'm just not really sure if I should say anything or not because the bust is UNDER YOUR HONOR'S BENCH! You had to think about whether it was a good idea to say that- WHAT?! WHAT DID YOU JUST SAY TO ME?! THAT'S A PENALTY! <laughs> <laughs> What's that?! You want a double?! Here you go! Oh my double god! Arc. Oh my god! <laughs> if so you take already... any damage, that's an instant game over. <laughs> I knew it, I had a bad feeling about that. Now hurry up and fix things! <laughs> that's amazing and terrible. That's hilarious. Acro, I'm sorry to ask this, but do you mind if I take the blanket off of your weight wheelchair? I was wondering about that. But my legs, they're so bad. I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear you, Mr. Wright. Well, you are a big guy, and you have a pretty big wheelchair because of it. I just wanted to make sure you weren't hiding anything under that blanket. Because it seems to me that it'd be really easy to say, hide a bust under there. <laughs> Is he just gonna go nuts? Once again, your perchant for humor hits me where it hurts, Mr. Wright. 
Well, then show us. I think it's pretty amazing that you could laugh in your position. However, your lightheartedness doesn't change the fact that the bust is under there. We all know that you couldn't leave the lodging house by yourself in your condition. That proved inconvenient when Miss Von Karma happened Wait, to search okay. your room yesterday. But they... Uh, do they kind of, like, check you before going into the courtroom? Probably didn't look under the wheelchair. They have... Okay, but if you see some... If you ever saw him from behind, it'd be like, Hey, uh, Acro, well, what you doing with Max's bus? No, he's got, like, a tarp behind it. Like, it's literally oh. just a pocket for the front to store your, basically, belongings there. Okay. If she had found the murder weapon in your room, it would have been all over. Which is why you had to hide it in the only place that you could hide it. Under your wheelchair. Which is why, Acro, I have to ask you once again. Could you please remove the blanket from the wheelchair? Well done, Mr. Wright. Masterfully played. Well, at least he kind of accepts this. You! You fool! How could you... got me. I've been bagged by a real pro. Actually, two of them. Two of them? Not three. <laughs> Miss Francisca Von Karma and Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? There's just one thing I'd like to know. How did you know to launch the surprise search on my room last night? There were two pieces of decisive evidence. The cloak and the bust. I burned the cloak in my room and threw the ashes away in the trash. Regina always took my trash out every morning, you know. Oh. But the bust? Obviously, I couldn't throw that away. When you executed your search, all I could do was try and hide the bust. Thanks, gumshoe. And the only place that I could hide it quickly was under this wheelchair. Miss Von Karma, you had things all figured out, didn't you? I was completely sucked in by your calculated strategy. And now to be caught in the middle of court hiding the murder weapon? There's no way I can escape that. I will say, that's part of why I like her a bit. Like, she's kind of a terrible person, but she does her job well, and, mm -hmm. like, that's great. So, you've got me. Well done, Mr. Wright. Well done, Miss Von Karma. Hmm. It all makes sense now. I can't believe that Von Karma thought that far ahead. It's amazing! Uh-huh. You definitely couldn't tell by looking at her. I know I sure couldn't. I can't believe it. I failed! Why did I order a surprise search of your room? If only I hadn't done that. It doesn't matter now, though. It seems as if we've arrived at the truth. Akro? Yes, Your Honor. Did you kill the ringmaster of the Berry Big Circus, Mr. Russell Berry? No! <laughs> yes, Your Honor. I'm responsible for that crime. Akro? All my brother did was want Regina to like him. That's why he'd tease her. Mm, One day, classic. my brother sprinkled some pepper on Regina. She started sneezing so hard, you couldn't help yourself from laughing. That's why Regina thought it would be funny to get him back in the same way. And that's why she covered the scarf in pepper. I know she didn't want anything bad to happen. I know this. She just wanted to make my brother sneeze a few times, too. But... I just couldn't forgive her, no matter what. What am I truly guilty of? I'm guilty of never, ever being able to understand her. Your bit rubber became a star. Regina believed in that so purely that she would laugh innocently when saying it too innocently. I just couldn't stand it, no matter how hard I tried. That's when you decided to do something about Regina? What do you mean by that? So are you saying that you are a victim in all of this as well? No. That's not what I mean. Oh. I'm nothing but a murderer. That's who I am. At first I thought I'd kill myself. Then I pondered giving myself up. But I couldn't just up and leave. I just couldn't. That's why I tried to pin this on Max. Max, I'm so sorry. I just, I just, I just couldn't up and leave yet. This has been such a strange case. No kidding! It's almost a reflection of the circus itself. It's almost like they planned it that way! I'm an 
idiot! <laughs> I can't believe it. You beat me again! <laughs> right, it's like, I'm not saying a word. I'm not getting whipped into unconsciousness mm -hmm. again. Okay, so here's something I just want to put out. Everybody's like, oh, the one great part of this case is Acro. He's like a sympathetic murderer. It's great. I'm like, he's not that sympathetic, but it's because really he's like, oh, this girl, she's she's being really insensitive about like my brother. I like, oh, should I talk to her about it? No, I'm just going to kill her. It's like, um, no, literally Acro, if you had just talked with right. her about this. Well, if it is her, though, like there, there are people. He could have. Okay, he could have done, like, him, the right thing. him sure. Regina, and Russell all in one place, and him being like, look, we need to talk. This, this thing <laughs> this that is, happens... At right. the very least, the, can we have someone besides Regina take out my trash every morning? Right. This is kidding. Right, <laughs> exactly. And I, and I totally understand that. It's just more like... Because I'm, I'm putting myself in his shoes. Say you die. Say I have a prankster friend that, like, you know, completely, like, it does you in, I would be oh, furious, yeah. obviously. Okay, but there's a difference between, like, being like, I can never forgive that person for what they did, and being like, I'm going to kill that person sure, because exactly. of what they did. <laughs> exactly, but it would just be, like, one of those where I can understand, like, the inner turmoil that this guy okay, has. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I don't think it's justified he killed killed somebody, and I think he would be the first to say he didn't want to kill the amazing person that right. he did kill. But, I completely understand the inner turmoil within oneself. I believe this case is now beyond any point of possible discussion. Yep! Thus, I'd like to declare my verdict. Not guilty! Yeah! He's fabulous! His pink hair. <laughs> it's pink everything. This court is adjourned. Or I guess purple. Purplish pink, purplish pink. December thirtieth, yeah. four twenty-seven p.m. When those guys the check, the lobby number be like, five. "Hey, uh, sir, we need to make sure you're not bringing a gun in underneath your wheelchair or whatever." And he's like, "Oh, I'm fine." Oh, I I'm mean, fine. it might just be like they didn't want to be to, weird to do that. I yeah. don't know. It, I don't it, know. Maybe you you do raise a good point there. Mm -hmm. the, the fabulous, but to be honest, I can't really be too happy about this. Macro, the ringmaster. Regina, and that, and I started saying the sentence wrong. Not a single one of them was a bad person inside, huh? That's a good question, and one I don't know the answer to. Me either. Congratulations! Congratulations, Mr. Max! Thank, thank you. What's with the vibe in this room? We're just thinking about Acro. No, 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 no. Regina? <laughs> If you worried about people too much, then you'll be like this forever and never be happy! Very true, Mo. Huh? <laughs> oh, great! <laughs> She's been like this for a while now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all my fault! This is sweetie, sweetie pie. <laughs> Regina? Mr. Wright, tell me something! What, what do you want to know, Regina? Akro said something right at the end! I just couldn't up and leave yet. Does that mean that Akro is gonna try and get his revenge on me? Of course he is! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, I don't even know I don't even know I can push that button. <laughs> uh, of course I can. Oh. Uh. I think that's his plan, but what can you do about it? <laughs> I am the worst person. You were the worst person ever. <laughs> oh, you people have seen my Harvest Moon 64 as play know this. Yeah. <laughs> you did some awfully bad things to him, Regina. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes! It looks like I struck the final blow on Regina. <laughs> Poor Regina. I thought she was gonna be like, you suck! <laughs> he's not gonna do that to you, Regina. In the first place, he's in jail. Are you sure? You really sure? I can believe that? Yep. Akra doesn't have any desire for revenge anymore. If that's true, then I want to see some evidence! Huh? Akra says it all the time to you, so I thought it'd work for me, too! Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, do you know? I'm gonna look around. The uh, broken bond that's no, still in the corner. Of course it's still in the corner. Oh yeah, we don't we don't throw away evidence in this. Oh, well, unlike in the first game. 
Acro, proof that Acro did not actually want to have revenge. Um, no, no, proof that uh, he doesn't no like, longer he, want revenge. Proof that when he said, I just couldn't up and leave, he wasn't talking about revenge. Uh, because he liked the, the mass, the, the master, the, the brain, the brain the master. Take that. that. So what about this? Now do you understand there's no re need to worry? <laughs> you were lying to me! No one ever tells me the truth! No one ever tells me what's going on! Oh! Looks like I made a mistake with that one. Poor Regina. <laughs> no. It, you were kind of close. It's cut as a bat. Okay. Akro didn't want to get caught for a reason. He wanted to see his brother open his eyes again. But bat... That's right, Regina. He's still alive, you know. He is, huh? But now that Acro's been caught... Uh-huh. I know! What? I'll do it! I'll stay next to Matt as long as it takes! Until he opens his eyes and then until he can meet Acro again! That's so sweet of you, Regina. I'm sorry, Acro. I'm sorry, Bat. Well, hopefully this is enough to give her a little peace of mind. Hey, Max! What is it, Mo? We really put you through a lot, didn't we, buddy? I'm sorry about what happened. So, whenever you'd like to leave us, I'll pay your fee and rip up the contract. I understand! It's such a fabulous thing to do for me! I might even leave tomorrow. What's going to happen to the circus now? Ah, that's the big question. Our ringmaster was really an amazing person, wasn't he? You're amazing, Mo! Yeah, I know! Even though he's not here anymore, everyone is sticking together. The staff, the performers, no one wants to leave the circus. That's why I've made a decision. What is it? I've decided that I will take over as the new ringmaster. Woohoo! I'll turn the circus into the best circus this world has ever seen! The best circus the world has ever seen? D -d don't laugh! Amazing. Yay! I can't wait! Then I guess that changes things. Huh? There's only one thing the best circus in the world has ever seen needs. The world's best illusions. Which means the circus needs the best magician the world has ever seen. Max. Let's work together and make our circus super fabulous. What do you say, big guy? I don't know what to say. All I can say is thank you. Um. Um, Regina, you're going to help them out too, aren't you? Um, I don't know. Maybe the circus will be better off without me. Of, without me. <laughs> what are you talking about, Regina? Why do you think that I brought you to the court today? Uh. We've got to work together to make the very big circus bigger than it's ever been. No. Most right, sweetie pie. It can't be the very big circus without Regina Berry. Max? Nick! Seems like everything is going to turn out all right here. I can't wait to go see the best circus in the world has ever seen! We'll save you the most fabulous seats! It'll take us a while to get ready, but I'm going to order special whoopee cushion seats! <laughs> How can you not love Mo? Come on. Mo was great. Oh, great. Now it's happening. I see what made the case. Just like you thought. Yesterday's search really paid off, sir. Oh, no. Is this the return um, of dance? You had it all figured out yesterday, didn't you? It was just a theory. If Acro really was the killer, I thought this was the only way it could end. Especially if he was the defense attorney. You mean Mr. Wright? Uh... Luxury! Planes! Of course. Well, Detective, my plane is about to leave. Wow. Do me a favor and try not to be too harsh on Acro. <gasps> it's worth! It's an it worth! Once I get back, I'll make stop to the Chief Prosecutor's Yay! office. He's alive! Yes, sir! I'll be waiting for you. Goodbye, Mr. Like, Edgeworth. I was like, you weren't doing the British accent until two seconds ago. <laughs> yeah. Yay! He's still got his weird scarf thing! It's called the Cravant! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! He's actually alive! Okay, I'm super happy. And we got a brand new episode! What's next? Farewell, my turnabout. Oh, come on, Edgeworth! Come on! <laughs>
I need okay. to see more. That's the case everyone is looking forward to. At least everyone, well. everyone who has played this game has been looking forward to this case. Basically. But it doesn't sound good. It sounds like sad. Oh, it is sad. What? Why? <laughs> you thought the last case was sad, Marty? Oh, this case it's gonna rip. Why do people like it if it's sad? People like sad fiends. That's how. I don't like sad. That's things. how fiends like every Newberry <laughs> metal book ever gets popular. Well, if only Quimby wasn't sad. That's like the that one was the Newberry aversion. reward. <laughs> the Newberry <laughs> reward. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Anyhow, thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time for farewell. My turnabout. That's um, that's a very interesting case, and I'm super looking forward to that. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless. <laughs>